Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Ender here back with yet another 100% achievement and trophy guide and this one has to be the complete easiest of the year hands down with no doubt from the trout. We are getting all achievements in Cross the Moon, a visual novel developed by Patrick Rainville, published by Rattle Like a Games and thankfully is on the smaller end of the wallet spectrum, you can get this for just $4.99. So as is the norm with visual novels, they are usually pretty easy, but sometimes you have to go back through five or six times, making different decisions, etc. But not this game, no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> For this one, we need to change a few settings in the settings menu, obviously. Then you need to get your mental head on, as this bit is quite tricky, okay? Ready? We need to press right bumper slash R1 on the PlayStation, then when the scene stops and you see a shell appear, press the B button or circle on the PlayStation. And that's it. That's it. That's literally all you need to press. Each You need to press one each time about seven times or so, and you've got the full 1K. So, uh, yeah, five minutes for another completion. <laughs> I guess with that being said, let's begin. So head down to preferences first. Check the skip unseen text. Uh, check that one so you've got like the little icon at the next to it, uh, next to it appear. Text display speed, text display speed, and auto forward speed. Put them all the way to the right, and that is basically the hardest part of the game. And even that, I can tell you, broken a sweat. <laughs> I just, I just know that. So from now, press start, press the R1 slash RB button, and this is just going to go through and. The thing is, the visual novels always have quite very interesting stories, but they always manage to put in just stuff like this, where you can just skip through it and... Ah, anyway, let me come back to that. So here's the first shell. Press the B button, slash the circle button on the PlayStation. That will unlock the first achievement, and it tells us that Clay's journal volume we can now read, if you really want to. And then that's it. Like I said, we're doing this about six, <laughs> literally six or seven times. So every time the scene stops and you see the shell, circle, slash B, slash whatever the hell you're on. And that's about it. Unbelievable, right? So, yeah, i tell you what I would like to see. These visual novels make it a little bit harder. So, okay, do mainly easy achievements, but, you know, check a hard achievement in there as well. Really, really mess with people's heads. You know, make it seem easy, but then you think, oh, actually, it's going to take a little bit of time, or it's going to be a bit of a grind or something, because that would piss so many people off. And maybe that would be funny, I don't know. Let's see if anyone's got the guts to do it. But <laughs> I tell you what, this is literally it. And by the way, I'm showing you the complete full playthrough. Um, and here's the second scene. So you see the shell, scene stops, press B, and that's it. That second achievement is literally, that is literally, 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 literally all there is. And I overuse the word literally because that's how literally easy it is. So, <laughs> yeah, and... <laughs> What more do you want me to say? You get achievements just for... You could probably take a dump. In You could probably... You get this... You would get this 1,000 out of 1,000 quicker than you would actually go and take a dump. You can make a brew, come back, thousands there, just... It's just awesome. Now and again, it's awesome anyway. Uh, so here is the third scene then, shell on the doorknob. One day I would like to go through one of these visual novel games and actually read them, but sadly I haven't got time for that. So somebody out there, somebody awesome will have to go out there and do it, which I appreciate big time. But again, you know, big thanks to Patrick Rainville because, the, again, the story, even looking at the, the, <laughs> the scenes, the scenes look very interesting with quite interesting characters. But sadly people these days are achievement whores, we all are. Press B again right here. Like I said, we're all achievement whores, we all are, and it's always a case of how can we get achievements the quickest. Which, I don't know, technically that kind of makes us prostitutes? Gaming prostitutes? Is that a thing? Well, it's a thing now. I've just made it up. So we'll just keep on going, keep on going. And literally, I'm only talking because... I suppose this isn't really a guide, this is just me telling you what to do at the beginning, and then you could just do the rest, but, you know... Apparently, some of you beautiful people like the sound of my voice and make like the crappy jokes I make, so... Hey, I'm on your side. I love it. And... Yeah. <laughs> so, so... This is literally it. We are actually coming up close to the end of the game. I managed to complete this in four minutes. 
So it's going to be about four to five minutes for you. Literally depends on how quick you can press the B button and the R1 button, I suppose, again. the end of the game so what can I say but thank you very much for watching hope this game is very helpful don't forget to like comment subscribe and share as well the easiest game on the planet today uh, from the last decade in the year and don't forget to check me out of course on all my socials Facebook Twitter Instagram Patreon as well I appreciate everyone who uh, support the channel through any of those especially Patreon as well and well that's that <laughs> Cheers again then guys and gals, I'll see you in the next one. Big love.